I'm gonna skip right to the point on this one. You clicked on this video because you wanna know how to get big arms and I'm gonna tell you how to go about doing that. The first step to getting massive arms is to hit the subscribe button below and click like on this video. Guaranteed to grow your arms at least like three inches right off the bat. Now I don't claim to have the biggest arms or the best genetics, but what I can say is I've made a lot of progress from where I started. And as a pretty average guy, I'd say I have some decent experience in growing my arms. So when it comes to growing your arms, we need to talk about your workout split. I've tried all sorts of different splits in an attempt to find the right balance and get that equal growth across my entire physique. I have tried full body splits, I've tried bro splits, I've tried upper lower splits, I've tried push pull leg splits, and all sorts of different things. I've done so many. And there's one common theme that I've noticed throughout all of these splits, and that is that arms tend to not be prioritized. They're usually just tacked on to the end of most workouts. Like if you're doing a push session, you'll do chest and shoulders, and then you'll just throw triceps on at the end. And that leads me into tip number one for growing your arms. You need to prioritize them. I was doing a push-pull leg split before my most recent split and I always just felt like my chest and my back sort of dwarfed my arms and my arms really just weren't making the sort of progress that I wanted them to be making. But as soon as I switched splits, it blew my mind how much progress I made. I saw the best growth from my arms following this split right here, which as you can see, has two entire days dedicated to just training arms. Which leads me into tip number two and that is your volume. If you're doing two arm days a week, then that means you're splitting your total weekly volume over two sessions. It's always quoted that optimal volume for any given muscle group is somewhere between 10 and 20 sets per week. What I've personally been doing with my two arm day a week split and what I'd probably suggest you to do as well, just because it's worked so well for me, is 14 total weekly sets for biceps and 18 total weekly sets for triceps. And that means each arm session is getting seven sets for biceps and nine sets for triceps. I would suggest splitting these up into three different exercises, each with three sets for the triceps, and then splitting the biceps up into three different exercises, one exercise with three sets, and the other two exercises with two sets. Now keep in mind that recovery is very important, so if you're having too many issues with this level of volume and you feel like you can't recover properly, then you can always lower the total amount of weekly sets, or if you're in the opposite camp and you feel like you're just not getting enough growth out of it, then you can always up the volume a little bit as well. Speaking of having those different exercises, tip number three is on your exercise selection. So for the anatomy of the upper arm, we obviously have the two muscle groups, biceps and triceps. Biceps having two heads and triceps having three heads, hence the names. In order to work both heads of the biceps effectively, you're gonna to need to train in three different arm positions. The forward position is gonna target the inside of the bicep, which makes the bicep look bigger and more meaty. The behind position is gonna target the outside of the bicep, which makes it stand up more when you flex. And the down position is just a good position overall to work the whole bicep at once. In order to work all three heads of the tricep effectively, you'll also need to train in three different arm positions. The normal position targets the middle head and the outside head. The behind position puts more emphasis on the outside and the high position puts more emphasis on the inside which is where most of the tricep size comes from. So when it comes to actually organizing these exercises into your arm days if you're a little more advanced then you can sort of customize things however you want to hit your own certain weak points. If you're not so advanced then I'd suggest you start off with three sets of a downward position bicep exercise such as barbell curls, cable curls or dumbbell curls then two sets in a forward position like preacher curls or concentration curls. And then to finish off, two sets in a behind position like incline curls. Then for the triceps, start off with three sets in a high position exercise like overhead tricep extension. Three sets in a normal position like tricep cable pushdowns. And then to finish them off, three sets in a behind position like tricep kickbacks, either with the cables or with a dumbbell. On to tip number four, and that is progressive overload. I cannot stress this one enough. You can have your diet in check. You can show up to the gym every day. You can sleep like a baby. You can have everything in your life be perfectly optimal towards building muscle. But if you are not progressive overloading, you just won't grow. The best and most simple way to progressively overload your lifts is just to add weight to your exercises whenever you can. Let's take tricep pushdowns as an example. Find a good weight for yourself where you can get two sets of 10 solid reps but on the third set, you can only get nine reps before failing. Remember that weight and work on it until you can get three sets of 10 reps without failing. 
Then the next session, add a small amount of weight. It doesn't have to be a lot, this is a slow and steady process. Then keep working on that weight until you can get three sets of 10 reps again. And then add another small amount of weight and keep repeating this process. Do that with each one of your lifts and as long as you're doing it consistently, then you'll be progressive overloading and you should be making gains. And finally, we have tip number five for getting massive arms and that is... Quick reminder, if you have enjoyed the video so far or found it useful, then please do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've got a bunch of stuff planned, so there will be more on the way very soon. Obviously, the channel is quite new right now, so any support you can give means a lot to me and helps out a ton. So if you could subscribe, give the video a rating, whether it's a like or dislike, just let me know what you thought. And drop a comment down below, that helps too. Let me know what you thought of the video or let me know what you might want to see from me next. Thanks everyone. Let's get back to the uh, regularly scheduled program. Purely consistency. I know you've probably heard this one before and it's a bit of a cliche but it just has to be said. Getting big arms honestly just takes time and you're going to need to be patient about it. You're not going to grow your arms by a couple of inches in a few weeks. It's going to take months if not years of consistency to get big arms or any other body part for that matter. Just be patient and consistent and the size will come. And that's about all that I have for you on this so I hope it helped and you found it useful. Hopefully you can implement some of these tips and use them to get some big arm gains. Don't forget to subscribe like and drop a comment below helps me out a ton and uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to over there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.